This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so we're ready to record, so. So you should have gone to the spreadsheet and the first thing on the spreadsheet is recording our original. We're trying to come up with Unicall selling price and POR. We're going to start with raw material. So who's going to lead us off? The raw material is $20. Okay, so man says the raw material is $20. How we get $20? two uh we got two ink cartridges at ten dollars each and that totals two times ten equals twenty two so i told you the cost is 20 and we're putting man down she said something today so hopefully other people will get their names on here. They want any points. Next. The actual selling price. The actual selling price is 108. We aren't there yet. Oh, okay. After that, we're gonna do the direct labor. Who's going to do direct labor? Me. The labor rate is three. The labor rate is three. And the labor productivity is 12. Is that reverse? Mm. Yes, reverse. Sorry. That's reverse. The labor, labor rate, rate is twelve dollars, and the labor productivity is three three hours. Three hours. So our total, labor rate totals what? Total is thirty six. Do you divide? No, you multiply, you multiply. in that case because it's more than than an hour. Okay. Okay. So the total for the a direct labor is 36. Okay, so we got Townsend on the board. The next, who else wants some points today? It's the manufacturing overhead. All right, so tell us about the manufacturing overhead, Ms. Williams. I think the productivity. Um, I had it as six hundred dollars, six hundred thousand. But then you um, divide the. Uh, I think it's fifty thousand. I think, and it came out to twelve. So we're we we're, we're doing it with total overhead. Just six hundred thousand. So we need our quantity now that we're going to make. What was that quantity? 50,000. It was 50,000, yeah. And so the unit overhead cost is what? Well. Well. I guess Ms. Williams started on this, one, so we'll put her down for this one. So what's our total overhead? We're just going to add 20, 36, and 12. 68. And how, much, 68. how much do we get? 68. 68. We aren't going to move any points for adding. but So if 68 is the unit cost, but then is it going to be our selling price? Amazing well, time. $204. Well, 
think I heard man. First, how we get 204? We multiply 68 times three. Those units cost it three times the unit cost. So the selling price multiple was three. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to multiply that times 68 and we get a selling price of what? $204. 204. Dang it out. P O R. Four. It's four. Who said four? Talasia. All right, well, let's tell me how you, Talasia, tell me how you got four. Um, The overhead is 600000 So our overhead is 600000 The quantity is 50000 on a test, 50,000. The labor rate is three. Labor rate. The total hours is 150,000 because you multiply 50,000 by three. The labor hours. What's our POR going to be? Four because you divided 600,000. Divided by 150,000. Line one divided by four, so we get four. So, what the spoon is on? Could you scroll back down real quick? In here? Yeah. Appreciate it. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So we now have unit cost 68, selling price 204, POR 4. And eventually we will use those numbers. Now we're ready to make journal entry. So let's move on to stage one. Who wants the first journal entry? I'll take it. Professor Board, if you don't mind, can you scroll back to the other page? I didn't get the um, the last little part of it. Just for a second. I can take a picture. What part? Down here? Yes, sir. I, okay, right here. Can you scroll up just a little bit so I can see the bottom? Okay. Oh, um, got you. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Okay. okay, so what's our next job? To start the uh, journal entries with the first stage. So we're ready to start the journal entries. So we have three journal entries in the stage. We're going to form the corporation. We're going to purchase equipment. And we're going to purchase the ink cartridges for use. OK, so what's our first entry going to be? Hash, common stock for 50000 Okay, so the first entry, we're going to debit cash for 50000 and credit common stock for 50000 because we have to form the corporation. Who said that? I did. Man. Who was you? Man again, okay. Next journal entry. 
equipment in those favor. Eight hundred thousand. So who's that said that? What this one? Hercules. I can't see you at this point. So when you speak, just go ahead and give your name. And we got another journal entry up here. We got to buy some raw materials. Who's going to handle that? Charles. Okay. Yeah, work in progress. Wait. Yeah, work in progress. I mean, process for a million. a minute now let's just see oh you're talking about stage one still we still are in uh Thanks, stage one. we got this journal entry purchasing 110,000 ink cartridges Stronger or something. He's not making all that noise. <laughs> no <way. laughs> Would it be eleven thousand? No, a million one hundred thousand. Oh yeah. One million one hundred one million. Yeah. So who said that King or Jacobs? I was saying it was a million one hundred thousand. Okay, King has. Yeah, he he got that one. Okay. Okay, so we have King. So how many? So we bought how many King? About a hundred thousand. How many did we buy? 100,000. Wait a minute. Was it 100,000? 100,000. I believe it was 10. 110,000. 110,000. 110,000. Oh, 110,000. Oh, my God. My template is not looking like this. Okay, I just switched back to the problem for a second. So we're down here at this journal entry where we bought 110 ink cartridges at $10 each. Okay, we bought 110 at 10. So we go to our Excel sheet. We bought 100 and 10,000 because we want to have more than we need. Uh, and we bought them at Professor Boyd, I don't think my template looked the same. Doesn't matter. How does your template look? It it it, it, it looks. Look? It has it has you know with all the job order and the you know it have all of those that you provided, but I don't know. Maybe I need to um, just type it in because it's not. It's Let's not type it in. Did we? Uh, this was in assignments, correct? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm under uh, job order costing. Uh, go, go to assignments, and I think this template was put in assignments. Okay. So I put this in there with the problem, I believe. Is that correct? Okay, hold on. Assignments. Okay, I found it. Thanks. You're welcome. So are there any questions at this point? What are we going to do next? Stage two. 
uh, stage two for work, work in progress process. So how many entries we gonna have in stage uh, two? Three. Three. Only three, yeah. Three. We're gonna have three entries in stage three. So let's go and let's just look at what these entries are. This is where we're getting ready to make the product. This is where we're getting ready to make the product. And the first thing it says we do is what? What's the first thing we do? Transfer 100,000 ink to work in progress. Okay, so we're transferring 100,000 ink cartridges to work in process. So how much money is that gonna be? A million. A million. A million. You know that weather spoon beat y'all to it, so. Somebody else did. Say what? Somebody else did something to make it. Uh, I think it was Charles. Which Charles is this? King, Charles King. All right, King, tell me how we got a million here. For the the working process, raw material, raw inventory. Mm. How do we get a million? Because a hundred thousand times ten. Um, we bought one ten, yeah. but we transferring a hundred thousand. We transferred a hundred thousand over. So. And then it was at 10, so it was transferred 100,000 over, and they were 10 each. So that's, that's how the first thing we're doing transferring in the raw materials. Now we got to pay the workers. We now have to pay the workers. How many hours did they work? 152,000 hours. What's their pay rate? $10. $10 an hour. Okay. So as we look at this one then, they worked 152,000 hours. They were paid at the rate of $10 an hour. So. So how much does that make? A million. A million. Hello. So we got to update. Ooh, your us. hair cute. Thank you. Man. Oh. Who's it all this talk here? I'm going to start taking off points. <laughs> How much of this labor? $10. One million. One million an hour is one million five hundred and twenty. Five hundred and twenty thousand. Five hundred and twenty. Yeah. One million five hundred and twenty. If I can move this down. All right, so, because this is the labor we pay. Clear the content. Now we need to make another entry. What's the other entry we need to make? The plot, uh, um, The labor rate. What does it say? Apply manufacturing overhead at <laughs> predetermined rate. So what does all that mean? It's the POR, right? 
well, I don't know if it's the Peel Honor, but we've transferred in 100,000 ink cartridges. We've recorded payment of the workers. We now in the process of what? Estimating, estimating what? The overhead that's going to be involved is always raw materials, labor, and overhead. Raw materials, labor, and overhead. And so, as we go back to our problem, as we go back to our problem, we got to make an entry here. So what numbers are we going to use to make this entry? Uh, 152,000 times four. Yeah. We're going to use how much, what number? 152,000 times four. 152. Yeah. 152,000? Yes. We want 152,000 again. Where did this four come from? Uh, the four comes from the POR. The POR. The POR is four. So the POR is four? Yes. Would you not put it under the working process and manufacturing overhead? No, it's stage two. I mean, it. Yeah, I'll put it here. Yeah, I'm just would. putting it here. I'm just showing in here what numbers we're using, we're using to do the calculations. Okay. So 152 times four is what? 608,000. What does the 608 represent? The 152,000 times four. Oh, the 608 represents the um, manufacturing overhead. The manufacturing overhead. The overhead rate. The over, rate. yeah. Overhead. Our rate is 608,000. This is how much overhead we're estimating that we're going to incur. This is how much overhead we're estimating that we're going to incur. So let's move to our T accounts. And if we were working on our T accounts, how much did we put in raw materials? A million? One million, right? One point one million. One million and one hundred thousand. Yeah. So I think I think we look at that journal entry in stage one yeah. was a million one hundred thousand. That's credited, right? That's what you're looking for, credited first. Mm, no, I'm not looking for the credit. The credit would be a million. Okay, I see what y'all are saying now. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see if we can get to work on this. So in raw materials inventory, we put in a million one hundred thousand, right? Yeah. Then we made a journal entry doing what? We transferred out a million, correct? How much did that leave in the account? A hundred thousand. And so in work in process now, the first thing we have is what? Was our first debit here? Was it a million dollars? Yeah, a million. A million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, it was a million dollars. Okay, so we had a million dollars. Then what's the next thing that's in here? 152,000. How much? 152,000. Uh, it'll be a million five hundred twenty for the debit. Okay, let me take this out. You may have looked at that. I don't know how we put that in. Professor Boyd, on this sheet that you got right here, can you scroll down to the top? This sheet now, Please. the one right here that you're showing. <laughs> See it now? At the beginning. So we, this is the beginning. No, up at the top where uh, it says accounts payable. What was that? A million, um, one million, one, one hundred thousand? Yeah, one million, one hundred. Yeah, one, one million, one hundred. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and I guess get the rest of these posted. So if we go to the T accounts, cash has what in it? Fifty thousand at this point. Yes. And common Don't stock. Don't pay your dead kid that you did. Common stock has what? Fifty thousand. Then we bought what equipment? And we bought how much equipment? 800,000. So the equipment should be 800,000. It should have an $800,000 debit. And that would be a credit to notes payable of 800,000. And of course, we've already got the purchase of the work in process inventory. And so in stage two, the first entry, we dev the raw materials inventory and credited what? We dev the work in process and credited uh, raw materials. Raw materials. Right. What's the second thing in work in process? Uh, 1,520,000. A million five twenty. So we would have put credited cash for that. Yeah. Okay. And the third entry we made, we did what in working process? The amount was how much? Six hundred and eight. Six hundred and eight. 
but we definitely work and process what we're going to credit. Uh, the so, manufacturing overhead. Right, so we're going to credit the manufacturing overhead. So notice it's below the line, so it's a temporary account. So now we're up to date on all of our postings. How many items were we supposed to make? How many? 500. How many were we supposed to make in those assumptions? 500,000. I don't think it was that many, was it? What was the quantity that we're supposed to make? 50. Was it three? 500,000. 600,000. 500,000. Let me go back. Let me. <laughs> no, we're making 50,000. 500,000. Quantity to be produced. Fifty thousand. Yes, okay. quantity to be produced. Yeah. Fifty thousand, Doctor Boyd. All right. Well, I thought it was, but I was hearing some big numbers. So we're supposed to make fifty thousand. How many do we actually make? We actually made so we're we actually made forty thousand. Forty thousand? Yes, so we, we actually made forty thousand. Okay. So as we go back now to our spreadsheet, we made 40,000, it says what? We can't transfer all the costs. But we're going to tr transfer the raw materials for 40,000 books and all of the labor and overhead. We're transferring the raw materials for 40,000 and all of the labor and overhead. So let's see if we can see what that looks like. So, so this is what we're working with right now. We only made 40,000 books. And our assumptions, I'm going to put a credit over here. We're going to transfer out all of the labor and all of the overhead. But we're only going to transfer out on the books. I mean, on the raw materials, the ink cartridges, just the, you know, the cartridges for forty thousand. Those other cartridges are here. But the workers, they got their money. They go into the rodeo and they're going to spend it. And when they come back to finish this ten thousand, they want to be paid again. They're not going to understand why. Even though they didn't produce what they should have, they, you know, they want to be paid again. So we're gonna charge you off all of the labor and all of that overhead because the utility bills and everything got to be paid. But the ink cartridges on for ten thousand are still here. So how much of the ink cartridge amount are we gonna transfer out? How much of the ink cartridge amount are we gonna transfer out? Looking for somebody who wants some points. Was it a hundred thousand? Let me see. This says a hundred thousand. So is First, someone gonna turn in this whole thing for us? Like I'm trying to see if someone's gonna turn in the whole thing. Well, I'm not gonna turn it in for you, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn it in for you. And I'm gonna quit working after a while. But uh what 
we got a million dollars because we we brought in fifty thousand ink cartridges. The books were ink cartridges for fifty thousand units, but we only produced forty thousand. So one way to look at this is to say, what was the cost per ink cartridge? Ten dollars. Nine hundred thousand, wouldn't it be? Well, I don't know if it's nine hundred. Let's look at it this way. For or is it a million? You're transferring out all in cartridges. I have fifty. I was supposed to do fifty. I only did forty. So, what percentage did I complete? Ninety percent. Four fifths is how much? It's eighty. Thank you. So. We only completed 80% of the, of the books. So only 80% of the million is coming out of 800,000. Okay. So when we add up 80, a million, 520, that's going to give us. Two million nine two eight, and how much did we have in the account in the first place? Three million one two eight. So how much is going to be left in here? Let me move them up. Stop there. So based on this, we're transferring out two million nine two eight. So how much is left in the account? How much might be left in this account? Is it 200,000? Do you subtract the 3 million 128 from, I mean, 928 from the 3 million 128 and get 200,000? Yeah, I think so. We're putting in a formula for that. Yeah. So it says 200,000 is left. 200,000, yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to do with the 2928? Subtract. So we did that. So we crediting work in process for 2928. What are we going to debit? The 200,000? The $200,928. What account are we going to debit? Finished goods. Okay, finished goods. We're in stage three. Everything finished goods and crediting work in process inventory. Two million <clears throat> and two eight. I get some points. One points. Who's that? I'm getting the two the two million nine two eight. <laughs> Subtracting. Uh, figuring well, it out. I'm trying, Professor Boyd. All right. So two million nine two eight. So that's all we do in stage three. We make one entry. So we got a, a number of entries here, but when we get to stage three, we we have this entries entries to help us 
uh, come up with the amount that's so this is a key entry how much is going from how much is going from working process to finished goods now how many units do we have in finished goods Mm -hmm. 400. It was 40,000. 40, 40, yeah, 40,000. So we got 40,000 units in finished goods. And these units cost us 2928. So we've got to go now and calculate the actual unit cost. We estimated it before. Now we got a unit cost that we got to calculate. What is that actual unit cost going to be? What is the actual unit cost going to be? How might we get the actual unit cost? 40,000 times. Divide. The dividing is going to help. Divide the 2 million by the 40. So we're going to divide the 2 million 928 by 40,000. You get seventy you get your seventy three point two. So it's seventy three point what? Two two. So seventy three point two two. Who do I give credit for those points to? Pursley. He ain't got one yet. Pursley ain't got one yet. Uh, no, I just two point two, not two two. Yeah, I just want to. All right, yeah, one, two, two. All right. Now we're ready for what stage? The sales of finished goods, stage four. Stage four, sale of finished goods. So nothing changes, okay? Uh, all the accounts are about the same. So let's do the first one. Where we're going to sell how many? How many did we sell? 30,000. So 30,000. What was our selling price? $204. Where we get the 204 from? From the um, the actual selling price when we, uh, 68 times three. Okay, 68, so when we were over here, he said, man's getting smart, I tell you. She's taking <laughs> over. Ever since she started using the, using the <laughs> templates. <laughs> okay. So that's when we use that selling price we determine. So what's 30,000 down 204? 6,120,000. yeah. Does everybody see how we got the sales? Let's go ahead and post this. Did we get? Uh, so let's go down to account six million one twenty four. So we got some cash in here now. Six million twenty four. We got some sales. Six million. Look at it. Jumped on down here by itself. How did that happen? 
Okay. Let's go to cost. So the next thing we got to do is to make a journal entry for cost of goods sold. So what's this journal entry going to be for cost of goods sold? Whenever we sell something. Cash. Is that man again? But it's not. I'm going to be quiet. Yeah, we can see the journal. No, it's okay. Talk to journal. That's how you learn. People sitting back, not learning what you're learning. The journal entry is already made. The journal entries are already made. Let me see if I can do something here. I'm going to click on this account. Control C. So I just hit a Control C. Then I'm going to go to my T accounts. To a pay special. Paste link. So I just practice it, see what will happen once we do. So, so I'm going on and doing that. Then I'll need to put a credit in finished goods. Uh, I'm just hit a paste link. I'm, I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, so let's go back. And make this journal entry. How many did we sell? Thirty thousand. Thank you. Thirty thousand. Doctor Boyd, stage four. That should be uh, hundred and twenty. You have hundred and twenty-four. This should be hundred and twenty. Yes. Take your word for six twenty. Zero zero zero. So let's go back to our T accounts. So this one went on and changed for us. Okay, 6120. All right, back to the question in hand. What's our cost that we're going to multiply by so that we can get our actual cost for these 6120 we sold? Don't all speak at once. Go into our T account. Then we just calculate personally the cost of seventy three dollars and twenty cents. Didn't we set up what the cost is gonna yeah. be personally? So when we get ready to make this journal entry, we're gonna put a seventy three twenty here. Seventy three. So how much is going to come in here? What's 73? What's 30,000 times 73.2? 2,196,000. 2, 2, 2, 2 million what? 196. 2,196,000. Um, zero, zero, zero. Two million comma one ninety six comma zero zero zero. So let's go and post this. But look, two million one ninety six already here. And we go to finish goods. Two million one ninety six already there, and it's got what's left. Isn't that amazing? So the bottom line, the bottom line is that 
because these journal entries are standard the thing, and if you work, as you work additional problem, another problem, or you take your midterm, you can paste link all of these items over there. And every time you make the journal entry, it's going to post it for you. So you can practice on that. Any questions? An amazing thing. Were you were you going to just choose somebody to submit the assignment? Say that again. Everybody go submit. Everybody right. go Everybody submit. Everybody submitted their specific part that they did, but now that we've all done it as one, are you going to choose somebody to just uh, turn in the no. one with all no. of? Them? No, everybody's going to do it. So I'm put in for a second submission, and everybody has to submit the whole thing. Well, can you please scroll up to the top? I can't see it. You want me to scroll up to the top? What can't you see? You see it now? Um, no, like right before uh, raw materials. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much. There's nothing there. So are we clear? Everybody now, I just changed it. Everybody will submit the completed problem tomorrow. I think more learning is going to occur if that happens. What do you all think? Definitely. Definitely. That was yeah, for sure. Dr. Boyd, so is this our midterm? Is this our midterm or no? This is your study problem. We work. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm doing the work. <laughs> Man, <you> all, <laughs> I just was asking. <laughs> just asking. Oh, midterm. Wow. Someone is midterm. Tuesday oh, when we get after spring break. After spring break, okay. Spring break yeah. is next week, right? Yep. Wait, can you repeat that? What I didn't hear what you repeat? said. My computer. Whatever you just said, I just heard after spring break. At spring break, you have your midterm. So you're doing, you're working now your midterm problem. You're, you're going to have something just like this on midterm. So everything we're doing now, you have to do on midterm. Okay, can you post this recording on Blackboard? Last one I posted, only one person listened to it, but I posted it. <laughs> It, it, it tells me how many people listen. The people Dr. Listen. Boyd, can I ask a question? Yes. So for our midterm, can we work with our groups that we've been working with for our midterm? I thought you didn't like to work, work in groups. Well, our group was fine. We were group three, Natasia, Charles, and um, Amaya, I think. But yeah, we worked fine. Can we do our, can we do our uh, midterm with our group? what I'll do is this, so I'll be fair to everybody. You can submit this problem individual as a group who's going to do the midterm together. That's up to you. So whoever name is on, so if you're going to work the midterm together, then you submit this as a group, everybody's name on it, and everybody who's on here for that group will work the midterm together. If you don't like working in a group or you can't work in a group, and you just work it by yourself, so you got a choice, Professor Boyd. Yes. Um. So, I I have an email that was sent to you, and Miss Barker has an email that she sent apparently sent to you as well about me being absent for the past two weeks. Yeah, I got Can that. Check your email. Okay. I got that. The, what do you want me to do work wise? We'll handle it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So for the midterm, are we doing like all of these or just like the journal entries, job order, and T accounts? Got to do the cost of goods sold and cost of goods manufacturer statement. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. So let's see if we can get there. If we if we can finish these next set of journal entries, then we'll be ready to get those statements done. 
So I'll let you skip six. We just got to finish five. It says the actual manufacturing overhead was what? 160 and 450. You see this? 160 and 450. So when the overhead came in, it was 160 and 450. So we had. Hundred and sixty thousand in overhead, if I remember right, and four fifteen cash. Is that correct? These were the numbers, correct? Yes. So we add them up, how much is it? Four fifty plus one sixty. Six hundred and ten thousand. 610,000. So let's go ahead and post the 610. So we're going to go to the T accounts. And we're going to post that 610 well right here. So we post in the 610 here. So I'm not going to worry about the uh, credits right now. Well, 160 came in here for accumulate depreciation. So let me go and put 450 in cash in here. Okay. Now, this, we thought. Uh, the overhead was going to be 608. It's actually 610. So we did not have enough money in this overhead account. I mean, in the working process, we were down 2000. But remember, most of these costs then went to finished goods, and then they were in the cost of goods sold. So we under apply the overhead. So we got a journal entry to make to get rid of this 2000. So what we're going to do is to go to our journal entries. And at the end of the day, this account has to be zero. At the end of the day, it's got to be zero. So we got to credit it. So we go back to our journal entries. It gives us two situations. If we under applied the overhead as we did that time. We didn't have enough. We're going to debit cost just so for 2000 We're going to credit manufacturing overhead for 2000 okay. And as we under applied it, so once we post that, then we're going to credit the manufacturing overhead. We're going to debit cost of goods sold. <clears throat> and so whenever we make that entry, whenever we make that entry, this account has to go to zero. So we debit cost of goods sold, and cost of goods sold is now 2 million 196 plus that. It's going to do 198. It's going to be 2198. Okay. This is unadjusted, and this is that adjustment. Now, if we had a situation, if we had a situation where we still had the 610, that was the actual. But if we had applied 615, We would have put too much in there. We would have had 615 in here, and it should have been 610. In that case, in that case, when we go to the journal entries, 
we will be using this journal entry uh, where 5,000 was over applied and so we would debit manufacturing overhead 5,000. We got to do all this for me sir. 5, That's what I'm talking about. That's a lot. A lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. But we finished we need now. To go the, can so we go in the classroom and learn this first? I was over that other know, I, think so people, I think a lot of people were asking for All right, let's go. Let's, well, we'll talk about it later, Will. Let's finish this up. So you either have this situation, this situation. You don't have both. So let me cut this. All right, clear content. You got one of the others. A whole lot. Now, now we're ready to, at this stage, so let's go to our T accounts. So how many journal entries have we made? Let me. A thousand. We have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten journal wow. entries. So how much time per journal entry? About, about three seven. minutes each. About three, about three minutes, minutes each. Three, 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 <laughs> you gonna do us like that? That's right. why it's best to work with a group so you, everybody can just get a piece of it. Oh my God. That's right. That's right. Everybody can get a piece of it then. Okay. That's not, that's hopeless in my group. Oh, uh, that's hopeless. As always, hope. Okay. We got two statements to do. Cost of goods manufactured, cost of goods sold. And that's all, that's all we got to do next, okay? We got to do these two statements. So let's see, Audra, we can do these two statements. It first of all asks us for the beginning raw materials, which was what? Zero. We didn't have any raw materials. How much raw materials did we purchase? Look in the journal entry to T account. T account will be good. How much raw materials did we purchase? $20. How much total raw materials did we purchase? Oh. Look at that journal entry. 100,000. 100,000. A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Uh, uh, no. Let me look at these journal entries. How much is in this journal entry? Oh, a million dollars because we did it. Uh, that's the ink card. How much did we purchase? A million one hundred thousand. A million one hundred thousand, right? How much did we have left over? We transfer it out of what? A million, so we had a hundred thousand left. So the raw materials left was a that we use in production was a million one hundred thousand. Okay. How much direct labor did we have? I don't all speak at once. Uh -huh. 1,520,000 direct labor. 1,000,000, that man is coming on. A million five twenty. What was the applied manufacturing overhead? 608,000. 608. So our total manufacturing cost, we're just going to add these three numbers here. Uh-huh. So our total manufacturing cost if we auto sum those, it's going to be what? 3228 What was our, we didn't have any beginning working process inventory. 
what was our ending work in process inventory? How much was left in that T account? Oh, um. Let me, see. Let me go to this T account. Go to this T account. Is it 200,000? 200,000. Our cost of goods manufactured, we're going to subtract this from 3,128,000. We're going to get what? What are we going to get here? What is our cost of goods manufactured? How much? Two million nine hundred twenty-eight. Okay, two million and twenty-eight comma zero zero zero. Now, this is the T account. This is the cost of goods manufacturing statement. What do you notice? What do you notice? Just plugging in numbers. The answer, I'm going to take this off, make this black. The answer to the cost of goods manufacturer statement is what you transfer it out. So whatever you transfer it out, that's going to be the answer to cost of goods manufacturer. And you're right. You come right in here, pulley. Those we got a million five twenty six oh eight. So once you get your T account done for cost of goods manufactured, you can do the statement. How about that, Miss Miss Audrey? I guess. All you had to do was look at do you see all of these numbers? Do you see the million? So oh, I see it. Yeah, so that's all I got to do. And uh, this is in the raw materials account here, but we, you know, we remember that. So hey, this statement is now done. Let's see if we can get a cost of goods sold statement done. So I'm gonna go you to the uh, accounts. Can you go up so I can get a picture of that? That'll cost you. That's a very expensive picture. But wait just a second. Let's put this account here and paste. All right. You aren't really concerned with this information here. We put it in. But you don't have to worry about this. So let me clear the content. And of course, we put these numbers in to help us, but it was these numbers add up to the 2928. I'll put them 
Man of color, you can't say that well. Ring, yeah. So these are just numbers they add up to this. But now if you look at this cost of goods manufacturer statement and ignore these green numbers because they add up to 2928, you got a cost of goods manufacturer statement. Now, let's see if we can get a cost of goods sold statement right quick. We didn't have any beginning inventory, so I'm going to put a zero. It says add the cost of goods manufactured. So we're going to get this number and bring it down. 2 million, comma, 928. Okay. So we're going to bring that number down. Then it says less the finished goods at the end. You know, so let's go ahead and see if we can find that finished good account. Let's see how it will help us. Accounts. Where is it? Seven hundred thirty-two thousand. Seven thirty-two thousand. So let's go back over here and I do is put seven thirty-two in here. And we subtract two nine two eight minus seven hundred thirty-two thousand. How much we gonna get? Two million ninety six. See that number right there? Two million one ninety six. Two million comma one ninety six comma zero zero zero. Two million one ninety six. That's the unadjusted. Then we had we got to add this adjustment here for the under applied overhead two thousand. I would just the cost of goods sold is going to be what? How much is our adjusted cost of goods sold going to be? Two million one ninety eight. Two million one ninety eight. See those numbers in this this T account here. So all you got to do to do the statements. This is the Okay, so this is the working process account. And get ready to do the statement. Just copy the T account, put it right here and do the statement. Then you get ready to do cost of goods sold, you copy the cost of goods sold to account and put it right here. So let's look at what we're doing now. We're calculating unit cost, selling price, and POR. We're calculating that first. Once we do that, we make these journal entries. And we won't have these two journal entries on the midterm. So you're just going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine journal entries. You're just going to have nine journal entries. The Monday before midterms, can we do like some tutoring or something? Yeah. Six o'clock. Can it be in person? In person or online? We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Does everybody want in person? The last time yes. we had it, last no. time we had it in person, see that people didn't show up. And we'll just make it available for um, one we may uh, group. We may have to do a combination of both. Yeah. We may have to do a combination of both. Yeah, because if we do in person, I can't. Yeah. I, said, I knew that was going to happen. It's not safe. It's not safe. Two cases already? Two cases of what? Might have got COVID? Um, can we leave if we have another class? 
I guess you can leave if you have another class. You know, and I'll communicate, uh, you know, once we have it. The key thing is go ahead and do this on your own and submit it. So hopefully you're seeing now that this is not the most work in the world. You got eight journal entries to make. And once you post them to the ledger, if, we, if we're just doing that managerial part, you get your T account done. Then you are able to do those statements. That's the point. You guys request that you post this on YouTube. Big pardon? Can you please post this on YouTube? I will post this on YouTube. I've already posted the morning class on YouTube, so it's there already. So you got two of them to look at. Thank you. So this will be. You know, I'll post this one later tonight. So, what everybody has to do, what you, what you, what you got to do, you either send it individually or as a team. You send this problem in to me individually or as a team. Then I'm gonna give you a problem to practice with over the break. We're gonna go over that problem Monday, some kind of way. So we're going to go over the problem Monday. This Monday coming up? Oh. Uh, Monday so after break? A few times. Does, does you and I go over this Monday? Everybody else will go, go over it the Monday after break. Okay, that's what I was asking. Okay, thank you. So we're, we'll work on it. So you have another one to practice on. And we'll go over it Monday after the break. Then that Tuesday, you'll take the test, and it's your option. You can get a team going to do it, or you can do it on your own. I'm not putting anybody in a team. So that's up to you all to do. You all to have your group me. You have some other team. See if who wants to work together and who doesn't. Got it? Got it. Are there any questions? Okay, so working this, you know, it's new and it's different, but you can see it's not that massive amount of work that you think. So we're cutting it off with just doing cost goods so, cost goods manufacturing, cost goods so. Hand journal entries, post to the T accounts, use those T accounts to prepare the statements. Practice on this problem again. Practice on this problem. And if you are adventurous, if you are adventurous, what you can do is to, for each of these journal entries, uh, so we aren't going to have these, you can go and do a control uh, C, lay out those formulas, and the T accounts will be posted for you. So you can have each one of these journal entries slated to go to the T accounts. Then you can auto sum, put in your auto sums and a formula to get your balances. So that's a way to practice this. Just get another template out. So get a brand new template out. Okay. And so right now in this template, I'm going to clear. We got a formula in here that is going to calculate the balance in that account. So let's go to the journal entries right quick. First journal entry that's coming in the working process is this. 
So I'm gonna hit a control C. Then when I go to the T account, when I come in here, and let's just say I put it here, and I'm go I'm gonna go to a paste special, and I'm gonna paste the link. The million is here already. Okay. So if you practice the problem that way, you practice the new one that way, it won't take you any time. So I show you what I'm, I mean. Suppose I go back to the journal entry and I got a new problem. Okay. So I come in here, clear the contents. Uh, then I put two million in here on my new problem. Okay. So now when I go to T accounts, two million, what's in here? Working process. See that? The two million is here. And then you can put in a formula so you can work the problem, put your links in. Then when you work the exam, you practice it two times. If you got a link worksheet, then you got a link worksheet. Shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes, but that's something you have to do. The team can do it, whatever. But you can do a link worksheet. You know, because Excel can really do some great things for us. But you got to make Excel work for you. So I'm going to put the link in for the resubmission. So go ahead and resubmit 